In this series, I will be challenging a fellow YouTuber to a GOAT format duel. But this won't be just any GOAT format duel. Each player will spin a wheel that will determine how the decks can be built using only GOAT format era cards. These restrictions range from certain packs to open, to only allowing the use of common cards, and many more. After each player builds a deck, we duel. Who will be the Wheeled Goat of yu gi -Tube? You'll just have to watch the series to find out. Welcome back to Wheeled Goat episode 16. Crazy that it's been that long, but I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So let's get right to it. Before we hop into it, I think before the last episode, we mentioned we add a lot of new things to the wheel. So if you want to add something to the wheel in the future, because as we go, we use the ideas and then once they're used, I take them off the wheel. So eventually we're going to need more ideas. So let me know in the comments. What do you want to see? Wheel one is basically going to be like better stuff, like pretty solid, good decks. Wheel two is all sealed format. So if you have any ideas for how sealed format could be really fun, let me know in the comments. And then of course, wheel three is the jank wheel. So anything like completely weird, let me know down below. All right, let's start spinning. And if you haven't seen the other episodes, make sure you check out the playlist for Wheeled Goat. I mean, obviously there's 15 more episodes before this, so a lot of great guests. It's been super fun. We have Wheel 1, we're back to the good stuff. So let's see what's on here. I can't remember what we've added to this, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty fun if we get something good. All right, here we go. Yeah, we have added a few things. Let's see, I'm not gonna read all of them. Let's just see what we'll roll. Some of these have been on the wheel the whole time. We've just never used them. I think we're about to get them. I tried to change the names. This was a special request from the comments to make you guys be able to see what we're actually gonna get before it lands on it. Doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal but only level four monsters. We've actually played level fours before, but we got to pick whichever level we wanted early on before I realized that was like too good. Well, now we have level fours and that's pretty strong. We've already kind of done an episode like this. I might take this off actually, you know, because we've already kind of played level fours. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. Let's spin the next one. I feel like we'll just play the same deck as last time. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with that. Let's try to spin again. Oh, okay. This one could be fun. This one could be fun. Only machine type monsters. I think we can make something pretty fun out of this. I'm going to be doing this live on twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. That is where we will be building my deck for Wheeled Goat. We'll also be testing against you guys. So if you guys ever want to play Goat format on Master Duel, make sure you come out on Mondays at 3 p.m. Central. That's when we start. We build the deck. We do some duels, stuff like that. And I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of modern Master Duel soon on Wednesdays and Fridays coming up because I'm taking a little break from Pokemon, from Pokerock stuff. Probably not too long. We'll probably be back to it because I love Pokemon but I had the itch to play a little modern Yu-Gi-Oh recently, so that'll probably go terribly, but if you want to come out to Twitch, it's going to be fun. This video is sponsored by Factor. Eat stress-free with Factor's delicious ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian-approved, and ready to eat in just two minutes. That's my favorite part about it. As you guys know, I don't really leave my house too much. Between making videos, shipping orders, live streaming, it's difficult to find time. But with Factor, I simply get their meals delivered to my doorstep, open them up, put them in the microwave for two minutes, boom, there's a great meal. And it's not like you only have a couple of options to eat with over 35 meals to choose from per week. These 35 meals include options like keto, calorie smart, and vegan and veggie. Factor also has other great options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, small bites, and more to keep you going no matter what's on the schedule. And between myself, you know, you guys know my schedule of all the streaming and stuff like that. My wife is a nurse and she works night shifts, so she can take this stuff with her on the way to work. She eats it at around midnight for her lunch, you know, and it works out really, really well. So Factor works super well for both of our very different schedules. We've already been through it a little bit, but I want to reiterate my favorite thing about Factor. It completely eliminates the hassle of prepping, cooking, and cleaning up. It's two minutes, you make your meal, and you just get rid of, you know, the container. That's about it. That's all you gotta do. Maybe you used a fork, put that in the dishwasher. It's so, so quick. You don't have to worry about all the extra that comes with it, whether you're going out to eat, whether you're cooking and preparing yourself, and then cleaning up afterwards, it cuts it down by a massive amount. So if Factor sounds like something you are interested in and you want to support the channel by checking out this sponsor, use my link and get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. You can scan my QR code or use the link in the description. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. What's good, Ruxin's channel, and welcome to Wheeled Goat. I'm gonna go ahead and have my race card out layout just for the spinning of this. Don't worry, it'll go away for Master Duel. So let's go ahead and see what I am stuck with. All right, let's get something good. Only level four monsters, I can live with that. Come on, stay, stay, stay. no, only water. All right, we're playing Legendary Ocean, it looks like. All right, guys, here's the deck we've made with machines and it is absolutely insane, actually. So because, you know, you can use three of if it's in your theme, we need to use three limiter removal, like one of the best cards in GOAT format. So the deck itself, when we were testing with Twi on Twitch, I don't know if we lost a game. It's really, really strong. Just simply by having limiter removal damage 
damage step activation, every machine monster you control, you can win like instantly. If you have three machines on the field and you activate limited removal, that's like 8K damage like 90% of the time. Because if you have like three 1400s, you know, it's 42 times two is 84. So you're doing 8,400 damage. So if you have any way to like out their monsters and you can summon three monsters, boom, game over. And you can end like the game like instantly. So it's really, really tough. Three mech chasers. We have this cyber raider in here that's kind of situational, but if they have like a mage power or a pre mat or something, this can steal it. And it actually like, you know, it actually outs those things or like makes him really big. It actually works pretty well with certain situations. Reflect Bounder just is a nice four star. And if they attack him, they take damage. We have UFO just to have a floater and have an option. They like keep it on the field. So our two tributes can maybe be tributed for one. So they attack UFO, you summon the next one. Next turn, you summon Genzo, you summon Blowback something like that. Then we have Roulette Barrel because it's a big defense. Uh, it has an effect where you uh, roll the die and it destroys face up monsters with that level. So it's actually pretty, pretty decent. It's like removal for free on a big body. If they attack into it, it stays face up on the field. You just keep activating the effect every turn. Dekoichi draws a card. It's amazing. Genzo, obviously. Blowback pops a card. Two Fusler because it's a little bit, um, it has a couple of options. You can either tribute for 2800 or you can summon it for free. If you summon it limiter, it's back to normal attack. You summon it with two tributes, you know, it can be a 5600 attack monster which is pretty crazy then we've got the normal spells and traps besides limited removal and then i don't think we did anything else too crazy so the deck itself it's basically a beat down deck with a couple of cool effects added in there and then limited removal is absolutely cracked so let's see if we can win this thing what's good ruxin and welcome to the beat down welcome to the beat down uh i i hope you're talking about me winning right not you uh i think i'm gonna take this but i have foregone just for you and your audience, a lot of the traditional parts of this deck. Because okay. I've heard I've heard gravity bind and level limit ain't the best for your viewers. Uh, well, that sounds great. That sounds great. We call that the rhyme style rule, not playing gravity bind and level limit. That happened in episode one. So uh since then it's been not necessarily banned, but it's you know it's up to you. So we are playing a best of five here. So this could be if you're playing any sort of stall, this could be a longer, longer match. Here we go. Don't worry, I've I've turned it to more aggro. Ooh, I get to go first, so I will pick second because we're playing go format, so you can pass it over to me. So I just go ahead and pass so you draw your six? Yeah, I'll basically just play going first as you know second from with my card. So I won't be attacking okay. you or anything. Don't worry. The cheap shots. All right, all right. Let's see right. what we got. Okay, all right. I've got to remember this deck because for some reason, I don't remember. I guess we scheduled you like a couple weeks after. I guess just so I wouldn't be doing a bunch of Twitch streams about like three different episodes, I think is the reason I did that. But now I have to remember what our deck is about. Okay. Oh, okay. I actually like this. Um, let's start off with a little bit of that uh, okay uh, you, uh, i gotta think about yours you've hinted that you're playing stall which might be interesting but i'm gonna start off like this and just see what you have uh my my dual field is not a bluff we are deep within a very very legendary ocean <laughs> oh gosh oh wait 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 are you playing like legendary fisherman uh it could be similar but uh, it's all water monsters. What card is this? This is Mermaid Knight, which is actually played quite often in uh, the more beatdown version of the deck. Really? What set is this from? Uh, it's one of the old, old ones. I'd have to look it up. Mermaid I, Knight. I, don't worry. I approved everything through goat format. Is this an alt art or something? No, it's Mermaid Knight. What is this card? Why can't I remember this card? Here, I'll actually look up the set that it's from. It is from, according to the Yu-Gi-Oh! card like database, LOD? Ancient Sanctuary of all Ancient places. Sanctuary, whoa! I don't remember this card, and it gets to attack twice? I have twice? never summoned it <gasps> until now. Whoa, okay, that's kind of scary, actually. It's So I guess it's a 15, a 15 normally, so it's a 17. So Legendary Ocean puts all water monsters down a level. That's why it loves level limit and gravity bind, yeah. etc. But I, I've spared you. Oh, it's supposed man. to go with the water. If you were playing those, I would be in big trouble. Okay, uh, wow. Uh, so you've got a 17 on the field that can attack two times. Yes. Oh my gosh, you've got a back row. I'm not feeling good about this. Okay, let me just see. You have a back row. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go for a little mechanical chaser action. All right. Is, okay, am I remembering this wrong? Is this an anime thing? I thought 
It, wasn't it like Umi like lowered machine monsters or is that like an anime thing? I don't believe that's a thing. Okay, okay, all right. So Now there's the other field spells that do like, I think the one that raises 500 does something to fire monsters and that kind of stuff. Okay, that could be it. All right, so we're, we're attacking. This is probably something that's gonna deal with my mech chaser, but we need to get rid of this Mermaid Knight ASAP, so I'm going for it. Okay, good, we get to get that thing out of there. That thing was scary. And I'm going to set, what do I want to set here? Let's set uh, two cards and pass it. Hmm, I think in the end phase, oh, I wow. want to see what your second set is. Oh, ah, Compose. my Compose. Okay, all right, Dust Tornado, it's a card. Let's see, I have a few options here, but I think I'm going to hmm. set pass okay setting a card format. good old goat setting cards legendary oceans up that raises defense as well doesn't it yep it does interesting <laughs> okay the question is do you remember uh what water monsters on the big five i don't remember that all right <laughs> was that a hint or something <laughs> Uh, it's in my deck. It's not necessarily what's down. I'm oh, playing mind oh, games. Okay. I think that I want to get a... I, I think I want to have a little fun right here. I'm going to normal summon my roulette barrel. <laughs> Wait, here's the problem. If I roll a four twice, I'm cooked. I'm doing it anyway. We're going for it. That's not happening. But mine's face okay. down. It doesn't have a level. That's I didn't read. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, crap. <laughs> That could have been dangerous. That could have been bad. That was a that was a waste. Uh, would have been fun. I got excited about popping a card. Didn't even think about that. It doesn't work. So. I did try to play roulette barrel in a defense deck that played like fairy box and yeah, the and ancient the statue. And Cor the Chorus. Fortress. Do you play Chorus of Sanctuary for twenty five hundred defense? No, no. You don't. You don't want them to know going in that that's what you're playing. It's kind of one of those gimmick decks where you need oh. to hide it initially for their first attack because. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to just auto have right, it happen. Right, that makes sense. Okay, let's figure out what this set is. He's got huge defense, I'm sure. Oh, no, it's a floater. It's okay. the Mother Grizzly. Glad I didn't attack the roulette barrel. Would have gotten punished for that one. You could have saved that also. Let's see. What do we want to summon here? I have several options. Hmm. I think... Mother Grizzly. We'll go with... Hmm. Do we go with the classic? You say wheeled goat? What's up? You said wheel go, wheeled goat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with the classic and just summon another. For I don't now. think I'm going to attack that uh, for now. I think I'm going to just chill a little bit. I am going to set a card. No, I'll set two cards, actually. You don't have Heavy Storm. You're not going to do that. I, I'd give up my ocean for three back row. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. All right, so... You've put up some problems. Hey, Mother Grizzly, at 1600 is a lot scarier than 1400. That's all I got to say. Oh, Lacunga. Oh, uh, you got to solemn because it's thinking to the summon. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure about <laughs> it. Special summon tokens? What the heck is this? We're playing GOAT format. You've got all these crazy cards. It is surprisingly <laughs> variable for, for the format. This is pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. All right, we're going to go to Mech Chaser. All right, we, we can't let that happen. We got to keep our Mech Chaser in the field. Uh, Lakunga Token. I mean, that, that is something I've never even heard of. Okay. Roulette Barrel. Shouldn't have put him in attack. Completely wasted. That's fine. No, who cares? No big deal. And I will pass to you, unfortunately, no back row here. Okay, no back row for you. If I knew you were so back row heavy, I might have put Mobius in here also. That would have, yeah, that would be scary. Um, here's the guy I probably should have played last time. We'll play our Reflect Bounder. I love Reflect Bounder. So you're on machines. You're Bandit Keith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. You got me. You got me pegged. It's not that. It's not really that complicated for this one. <laughs> we're machining it up. Uh, I think that. It doesn't really matter. Well, actually, you know what? It kind of does matter. Let's make you use your your mother grizzly. Let's figure out what your next. Yeah, see see what problem cards are going to pop up. Yeah, here. let's see what you got in there. You said you have a bunch of options, so I'm kind of interested to see what they are. Quite a few options, including the Yomi, Yomi ship. ship. No, stay away. Okay, I don't want to sack my mech chaser yet. I'm going to make you crash to do that. 
That's fair. Um, uh, so I'll get rid of the Lukunga token, and I think we can set another card, actually. No big deal. Just chill I'm out. I'm now regretting not bringing Gravity Bind in the level <laughs> Gravity Bind would, would be pretty tough on me, that's for sure. I have not played a non-level 4 yet. Hmm. But you got, you're got you getting bonus points just for respecting the game, you know, not, not playing those. So I'm going to just take a bunch of damage. You've got I another think, Mother Grizzly, take, huh? Take out a couple of things here. First, I'm going to, yeah, take the damage and go for this. You know, I feel definitely okay about mirror forcing both of these. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, that's a big swing. Because, I mean, Mother Grizzly is going to turn into something. You're getting rid of my mech chaser. I feel better about that. That is rough for me, man. So you took out Gravity Bind and Level Limit, and you decided just not to play any back row, apparently. <laughs> I have back row. I'm just not you're drawing You're just not drawing it. it, apparently. Yeah, well, you do have 29 cards left, so you're just not hitting the right cards right now for the back I have, row. I am light on back row, but I'm not completely light. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of damage on your life points. Yeah, this is big pressure. This is not quite a W just yet, but we are going to do a decent amount of damage. And I will say the machines have a surprisingly decent selection of monsters for like the, the era. There is some pretty solid options. It's only outclassed and beat down really by beast down, it feels like. Right. Hmm. This is rough. So I'm going to have to salvage oh. a bit of this duel. Okay. Salvage is a cool card. They have some, man, water has some cool cards in there. All right, Yomi's coming back. Not as good of a crash now, so you're probably more of a defensive guy. Well, with what you've got going on with Reflect Bounder, I've got. Yeah, to you want to attack Reflect Bounder? <laughs> hey, Reflect Bounder's available, man. You can attack him. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, uh, this here. is probably a bluff, but we're gonna we're gonna get rid of whatever that is. That is rough. Oh, it's actual back row. Okay, we both dusted. I, would, I had that set turn one, and I was hoping you'd pick it, because then I'd just hit Legendary Ocean. Okay, so in, this has got to be like... I mean, you just had Mother Grizzly and Yomi, so either one of those were fine. So I think we just go into this. Yep. Okay, Mother Grizzly. That's number Let's three, I think, right? This. Yeah, it's number uh, three. I don't think I want to show you other cards in the deck. I do think I unfortunately lose here, so... Yeah, I just have to. That's smart. Not give other information for the rest. That's of the smart. Games. We, we've got it's a best of five, so we got a long way to yeah. go. So this is only game one. So I was sm probably a smart move. All right, all right. Uh, your deck has some scary potential. I'm, I definitely drew the right cards for that, but I'm worried about what could happen here, especially if that mermaid starts going crazy at the right turn. Let's get to game two. Yeah, unfortunately for me, you have a bunch of big monsters that end up dealing with that specifically. Right. With Legendary Ocean, though, uh, so far my uh, Lakunga is bigger than any of your monsters. <laughs> yeah, Legend uh, Lakunga's big. Yeah, 1900. Luckily, I had a Sakuretsu armor because otherwise I was kind of in trouble with that guy. All right, I will be passing to you. I was just assuming you wanted to go first. Yeah, um, I'll go first. Okay, so I'm passing it over to you, which I don't love with your all of your legendary oceans and things and tokens. Quite a few options. Uh, I will go ahead and set. Okay. And set and pass. We've only seen a couple of your monsters so far, so could be Yomi, could be Mother Grizzly, but it could be something I haven't seen yet. I gave some hints at what else is really in here. Uh -oh, you just yeah. got to remember the anime. I know. That's the problem. I've been meaning to rewatch that recently because it's been like, I guess, like four or five years since I first, well, I was since I rewatched it. So I'm kind of losing it. So I need to revisit it. Here's the problem. No, there's not a problem. We're going for this. Let's just summon <laughs> Mech Chaser is back. A little TP1 action. Speaking of the anime. Oh, gosh. No, it's, it's oh. not as bad as you think. <laughs> okay, wait, you can pay special summon it during the next standby. Wow, okay, no, I'm putting you on a clock. That's an eight turn clock. Eventually, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna take yourself out with that one. Yeah, and unfortunately you're playing Reflect Bounder and such cards as that. Yeah, that helps, that helps a little bit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do that. That's all we need right now. Well, once again, you're gonna lose your back row. Oh, okay, I see how it is. That's all right. It's just a dust. Yeah, we're <laughs> an good. equal trade. We're good. We're good. Ooh. 
And guess who's coming back to the field? Oh, uh, the revival jam has been revived. Now, this is my three of I warned you about for aggression. <gasps> oh no, this is a nice trade for you. It's a very nice trade oh, for me. Oh, I don't like this. Cause you're just gonna and revive him back. I'm going to go ahead and put a little extra pressure. Oh no. And, and you got since Yoli. we got rid of that dust tornado. Oh! Let's all get a little bit stronger here. Ouch! This is a turn right here. Yeah, we're comboing. Oh my goodness. Creature swap and go. One of the ultimate combos right there. Yeah, it's usually pretty negative, And even though it's on your field, I still can revive the revival. Yeah, that's damn. brutal. That's like a, giving a floater. That works basically well. Yeah, you remember how big um, the twin-headed behemoth was? The dragon yeah. that was 1,500 that would come back. It even got limited. Yeah, once per duel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here Revival Jam just has a little extra cost. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are, this is tough right here. Well, I guess I'll fire this off now. Um, Graceful Charity. <laughs> Someone oh. got to their power cards early. Oh, what do, oh man, this is actually really tough. Ah, what do I get rid of here? Maybe, ah. That it, good, huh? They, they, they're yeah, all just cool. like equally, you know, the same. Um, yeah, this deck forgoes cards like Book of Moon because you have Yomi Ship, Salvage, yeah. et cetera. You have a lot of one for one cards. So you don't want to play uh, cards like Book of Moon. You're supposed to have constant field presence, so Torrential is rough to play in this deck. It's yeah. a very specific goat deck that just misses some of the marks of the format. Okay, I, I don't feel great about this, but I am going to do this. Ooh, that's more than fine. Okay, it was a Mirror Force, so, so I at least got a good card out of that. Um, That was rough. <sighs> Let's see. Oh my gosh. Mech Chaser too big? Man, he is big. Uh, I, oh wow, I'm just gonna set a card. I, ugh, gross. Interesting, um, so you graceful, you saw a ton of different things. You threw away a widespread. Uh, well, this is one card I don't mind losing. As long well, as that's fortunately that's an automatic torrential when he ah, comes back. <laughs> I thought it was mirror force. So that helps a little bit. And I don't get to trigger the revival jam there. Interesting. Wait, what is this the text destroyed on by that? battle and sent to the graveyard. Oh, okay. That's good. That ends that for me too. Unfortunate. Okay, that'll work out. It was like a free torrential because you had to summon him back because you already paid for it. That was such a huge swing. Okay, I like that. Now we bring out my Fusilor Dragon without tributing. 1400 <laughs> attack 1400. monster. You okay. better hope I don't see a Mother Grizzly. He's not huge. He's not huge right now, but he will do some damage. Oh man. Um yeah, let's just uh let's just chill out a little bit. That is rough. All right. I think we can uh, salvage this duel once oh, again. Okay, okay. No, not the revival jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And the Yomi ship—that's brutal. And revival jam's fifteen hundred. Indeed. Oh, he's literally big enough. Right at the cap. Oh gosh. Let's see that back row. <sighs> This does not feel good. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a okay. It's compulsive. It doesn't. That's not great, it doesn't yeah. feel great. It does not feel great. Um, so you might have like a sacrifice monster or something, Genzo. Well, we'll find out. You really wanted to keep that. Oh, and Into that is a nice card. My roulette barrel. <laughs> An attack again. An attack. We're going to battle. And I activate my special card, Limited Oh Rumble. my gosh. <laughs> that is why we had to keep him on the field for just enough damage. <laughs> I had Snatch Steel and I thought about it, but I was like, I want him to summon Genzo. I want to take the Genzo. I had Snatch Steel too, actually. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. So I was so you like, do I let him right die, back. take the revival champ? And I'm like, if I draw a monster, we have limited removal active. 
which is just, oh. by the way, the most ridiculous card in Go format. I mean, if it you have is. all machines, it's just ridiculously good. So yeah, the power level of your deck versus water, like without well, stall, I need to be able. To I was turn testing things. this deck on Twitch, and this is, I think, the best deck I've had. That's awesome. Like this deck, just with limiter removal and big monsters, is just ridiculous. Unless you have the right, like the right com, like the, you guys have to have a really strong deck on, like a real goat deck. To, to like combat it well this is a real goat deck it just it needed the real back yeah you, yeah you 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 would have had to play full power with the i mean but if you play gravity i mean i pretty much couldn't do anything because yeah i would have had to draw my back room i think you would have shut me down because i don't know how many non-level fours i'm playing i think it's basically everything's level four we'll go terraforming into a legendary ocean okay and the and ocean and <laughs> i just looked at my hand <laughs> I unfortunately am scared of cross out, so I'm gonna play this face up so you know what it is. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. I'll pass. Cross out is very annoying, especially when you're playing goat. And, yeah, cross and out. And you know is that so I don't powerful. have any uh <laughs> any any of your cards. Okay, well, uh luckily I drew this off the top. Pot agreed. Technically Pretty not off the card. top in the first hand, but oh okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sounds rough for me. I feel wow, a storm this is coming. not a, this is not your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes every power card against. Sometimes you. in go format, you just draw the right cards. That's just what it comes down to. Um, you know, I honestly don't think I need this guy right now, so he's gonna go. Not both your roulette barrels. Yeah. Oh no. Um, you are playing a back row, which we every other game it's been dust tornado. So, <laughs> uh, is that the same, or is it one of your Sakus? You draw Mirror Force. You do have that. You've got a. You've got. I got a couple other things. things. Yeah, you got a couple things. You know. I'm gonna do a this. Face down. Yeah, we'll settle and down. We'll see if you have your uh, Dust Tornado again. Ah, uh, well, that is indeed what's here. Or Mystical Space Typhoon. Okay, all right, all right. That's a good card. All right, let's see. I think, well, it can't be Morphing Jar. Cyber Jar is a machine. Not craftable in Master Duel, by the way. Oh, is it yeah, not? Yeah, so okay. not available in this deck, which would be a pretty nice that. addition. UFO ah. on the Searcher on Searcher Crime. Yeah, finally hey, makes an appearance. Hey, you're capped at 1500, though. Yep, he's not quite big enough. All right, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I will go ahead and set one and pass. Okay. UFO turtle. That has been a long time. UFO. He's probably not the best of the floaters, but you know, he's doing his job. Yeah, it's rough. I think like ultimate baseball kids, one of the only things that's searching in this format. Uh, what do we want to do? Here's the problem. Let's just do a little bit of this. Let's reflect again. Ah, uh, rough. So we're going to reflect into the mother grizzly. All right. That's going to activate. All right. Two. Will he bring out another grizzly is the question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another grizzly. All right. Another mother. Oh, the serpent. All right. The erotic yeah. serpent. Okay. Oh, I forgot it's eroded. Yeah, I think it's still not horrible, I guess, but definitely uh, not as good as bad. it. That's pretty bad. I, yeah, I thought it see? would fix itself in unlimited. Oops. I that's, wish it would. Maybe one day they'll do something for us. But yeah, it's the errata one, unfortunately. That's it. Wow. Does Master Duel Goat does change things like because you know the whole uh, no priority. You know, a lot of the cards are errata like Ring and and Sinister. Yeah. So a lot of things are a little bit different on here. All right. So you have a back row now. Do you have Dust Tornado? Fortunately, I can make it uh, one it turn. It says result. during your standby phase, you can return this. Also, banish one during your opponent's next end phase. So it still comes back. Yeah, you oh. still do get it. I think it's what every other turn or something is how it works, basically. That is interesting. It's kind of weird, but so do you do. So for value just one tribute, I summon Leviathan Dragon oh, Bentleyus and nuke your whole no! field. <laughs> oh, that's so and I've got another ocean. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and we're going to bring a little something oh! back. <laughs> I'm so cooked. <laughs> I'm so cooked. Okay, all right, he's popping off. 
We had to get one hit in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, the one true beat love you, Dragon. That's pretty With rough. With the three for one and mirror force gone. It's about wow. time this deck got a little bit hot in the water. That's that's nice. Um Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Um <laughs> Ouch. Okay, I'm going to I guess I'm going to set this card. All right. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. So we've got two. Yeah, it's Apply pretty good. Effective Serpent, which I can't resolve. Oh, my god. Oh, baby. When it rains, it pours. No. Graceful Charity. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. Man. <laughs> oh, I think that's no. game, maybe? If I send the right cards. Oh, uh, don't need to feel free to send the wrong cards. I wouldn't be mad. Okay, Serpent. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> oh, the Nightmare I'm going Penguin. To go ahead. That's anime. Yeah, that's who I was talking about. That's the big fives card. And with no cards left on your field, we'll get a little extra damage in. Yep, that'll do it. That's pretty rough. And go for look. Oh, okay. oh, I can do it again. I can do it multiple times. I what? didn't know that. It's not oh, Levy Dragon's not once per turn? No, the uh, Lacunga is not. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. The Levio Dragon might not be either. Well, I guess, yeah, you just need the Umi multiple. All right, okay. That's that's a pretty good move if you can pull that off. Uh, okay, yeah, the one I, would like to go, say, I would like to go first. Just, just that's, that fine. that's fine. <laughs> the one tribute Levio Dragon is very nice. All right, here we go. Okay, game four. That was a big run. Hopefully this isn't the be beginning of a massive <sighs> comeback. It feels good to pop up. Hey, we could at least get to a game five either way. Yeah, that's good for the viewership. Oh my gosh, that was, I, I didn't even, I forgot. I forgot it. That's like the Duel Links the move right there. The water structure deck, man. Yeah, that's classic right there. That thing will blow up your whole field. That's, oh man, it's like Chaos Emperor Dragon. Stuff it stays on the field. Oh, whew. All right, let's um, let's just start off like this and see what you got. Is Hopefully, no less stereo ocean right off the bat. Well, you probably do. I have some interesting things for sure. Let's go ahead and start with graceful charity since you did last time. Oh, okay, all right. The wow, turns have tabled. And the turns have tabled. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And man, I don't know what to get rid of. This is rough. Uh oh, that's usually not a good sign, but. Yeah, it's very interesting for me right now. I guess I get rid of Lacunga, unfortunately. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and T set in case that's roulette barrel and T set. You. Okay, all right. You're playing around the roulette, I see. Okay. I've only seen it every duel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. It I'll, is I'll take an extra card, though. Ah! Oh, my guy, Dekoichi. Okay. I did forget about him. He's not bad. He's not bad. Let's see. What do we want to do? You've set a card. Okay, you got rid of Lakunga. It's probably another Mother Grizzly. That's probably what it is. Um, You know, let's just, um, let's just do this. Let's just figure out what this is. Well, we keep talking about the oh, anime. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, you know Unfortunately, what? Unfortunately, <laughs> I give it back. To I don't you. feel too bad about that. I am going to set a card. Um, oh, set... whoa, what could that be? <laughs> going to set a card real quick. No big deal. And I'm going to pass. Oh, I'm about to show you what this deck can really do. -do oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, no, I do not want to set a spell or trap on the Every field. game! My back row is not safe! Uh, we will revolve, resolve the Sinister Serpent. Yeah, okay. You've got and Sinister. You Oh, this is like value town over here. Indeed. Uh, I'm going to... Hmm, go ahead and summon. Okay. And I'll take your face down. Son of a nutcracker. I don't feel good about this. <laughs> I do not feel good about this. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't change its position this turn, though, so I do have to just pass. I do not like that at all. Uh, 
If you have something to sacrifice on this, now would be this, the time. This is just weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Your own Nakoichi! Oh, no! <laughs> but now I get to look at your full deck. Abyss, oh, the old rules. Abyss Soldier, ah. Mermaid Knight. Okay, I, if I had known about this Levia Dragon, this would have been good info before last game. Yeah. Uh, okay, you do have a you do have the nobleman. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, nice deck you got there. Now you can check out I mine. I see. I get to see yours too. Yeah, you get to see my There's Jinzo. There's blowback. Interesting. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen we him got yet. Got two limiters in the deck, so the third might be in your hand. Could be. Hmm. All right. Gotta watch out. The question is, will I roll the correct number? <laughs> <laughs> four, baby, four. There's oh, a two. Come on. There's ah, a two. Double Together two. Together they make four. You gotta, you gotta be careful what you wish for. Oh gosh, yeah. Two and two and two do make four. Dad gummit. We are not sitting in a good spot right now. Okay. We'll set a card. I'm gonna set two. Ooh, two. Cards. Oh, Mother Grizzly, sitting there, ripe for the picking. And we resolve the serpent. So basically, I just have to play serpent slower. Yeah, it's slower serpent. Well, I suppose we can summon Abyss Soldier. Abyss Soldier, oh and boy. And he's powered up by the Nightmare Penguin, and we have a little bit of a free discard. I forgot we'll for Nightmare Penguin set. buffs him. Oh my gosh. Indeed. We'll enter the battle phase, and we'll go for our own Mother Grizzly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Reasonable. And that will resolve. And do we want to really press damage here? It's a great question. Yeah, I think we do after the non resolve. Oh there. my goodness! And Mermaid Knight uh, does not. Oh, it doesn't have Umi on the field. For some reason, I took oh. the boost from Nightmare Penguin as. Yeah, Umi. it kind of looks like. Yeah, it kind of looks like he does. Yeah. I thought it applied as Umi instead of just boosting for some uh, reason in my head. Reading hard. You've got some big cards on the field. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that. Um, fortunately, I have a big card as well. Ah. So I am going to take out this Mermaid Knight. Just in case you decide to draw Umi. That could be a major problem. I'm going to set a card once again. Hmm. And I'm going to pass. I don't feel I good feel about like you this. You just top deck Levy a drag. You start blowing stuff up. I feel like you should have taken care of the penguin. Could have. All right, you're bringing Good back sure. the serpent. Yeah, of course. It's Man, even the errata seems pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just slower. Yeah, I it's have just to, like, not I can't pitch value. it this turn for Abyss Soldier unless I want to lose it, lose it. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to pitch get rid of that same back row again since it had problems before. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and summon, I guess, there's two ways I can go about this. I guess I'll go Lacunga. Oh, Lacunga is Labunga. He's huge. Yeah, these get even a little bit stronger. All those cards I've been sending to the graveyard aren't for nothing. <laughs> They're paying off. And he's multiple times Oh a my turn. gosh, chill. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, this thing, this is intense. How much damage is it if I turn the penguin to attack? I feel like that's a mistake, though. I feel like we <laughs> should just go this way. All right. Oh, my gosh. I think that we're going to do this, actually. Oh! <laughs> the fits of limiter <laughs> removal. The limiter was in hand, but it comes at a cost. It does come at a cost. We get to destroy a monster. We get to destroy and do some damage, but we lose our biggest monster. Now, I have plenty of tributes without an ocean. Do have a lot of tributes, which is pretty scary. All right, time for a little aggressive UFO turtle. <laughs> UFO turtle, take out one of these tokens. All right, let's, uh, let's settle back down. I can't bounce that back row over and over again anymore. Yeah, another reason I felt okay about using the limiter removal. Get rid of that yeah. Abyss Soldier loop you had going there. Well, uh, how effectively do you think you took care of that? Not good enough, apparently. <laughs> I did rip that off the top. Did not good enough, apparently. Let's just say that. All right. 
Ouch. Now you set to it once this time. I did. So I have to think about this a bit. Okay. How much do I want to risk it for the biscuit? How much do you want to risk it for the biscuit is the question. <sighs> Could it be mere force? Fire versus water right now. I think I'm oh, going to go for it. Oh, no! Ah, there was a pause there. Interesting. Oh, no. Rival, rival jam. Oh, man. Okay, there goes my mission. That is scary. That is scary. That's a water. And we'll see what's down. Well, fortunately, I can at ah. least salvage a lot of life points here. Indeed. So that will stop that one. Indeed. Let's see. We'll go with the least amount first. He's still Everything pretty powerful over there. Okay, we'll bring That's back... first turtle here. Bring back a turtle. Indeed. Ouch. Save a little bit of life points. Might as well go through them all. See what yep. you got at the end of the tunnel. A roulette barrel? Oh, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> You're just waiting. <laughs> it's, it, it summons only fire, huh? Only fire, fire. so yeah. Not a lot of, not a lot of options here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, you know, that's not a bad card to draw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Anime power levels over life. here. Life. Life. Okay. Um, mm, yeah, I think that's the move. Okay. Well, uh, this, I, I didn't get rid of the Abyss Soldier completely, but now I think this one for one is going to have to do it. <laughs> Without committing to your normal summon, Cyber Raider would have done it too. No, Cyber Raider. No, definitely not. Okay, I'm going to set this and two. Okay. All right, I finally can't dance around the back row. I keep bouncing. But... I will get back a little friend. Of course. Here he comes. And you've used this card on me already in this match. So I think it's about time I get to. Pot of greed. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Hmm. Interesting predicament. What could that be face down? You're out of turtles. Could be a barrel. No need to get too aggressive. I guess I could put that in defense. Two back row, three cards. And go with the 1900. The Lacunga. It is indeed a barrel. All right. Barrel. We'll go ahead and unfortunately pitch this. We don't have the power up for it. Machine. That thing is just de decimating me. Yeah. Tribe is one of the power cards of the format for sure. Pretty good. All right, let's see. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So nothing to the attack from the face down. Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what you got. All right. Uh, resolve this. All right, we don't want to summon, do we? <laughs> I, have, I have something funny in case it's torrential, but we could just go face attack. It could be Book of Moon. So I think what I want to do is just summon another token in pressure. Token it up. And it's not torrential. And the attacks are going through right now. Little pause there. Yep, Sacker. Okay, we got to get rid of that guy. We got to get rid of that guy. And do I want a Lacunga again? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's insane! This is a token generation on another level. This is insane! He just keeps bringing back more guys! Trying to put problems up for you. It's, it's, but that also does open me to a limiter play. It is working. Okay. Let's bring out another big guy. Alright. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage. We're gonna attack. I think we're gonna attack your token. You got enough of those suckers. I've been working on them. You got enough of those suckers. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what you got. Is it limiter? Limiter wouldn't be game if I run into it again. And I drew a little something that takes the edge off of that. Oh, that's a pretty good card, huh? Yeah. If it is limiter, I'm not dead. And you are. 
It is a limiter removal. Oh, game five, baby. Oh, it's so close. Got him down to 11. And the tokens will come in without that, the big guy that doing was it insane. himself. insane. I couldn't get rid of all your monsters. You're just bouncing <laughs> everything and making tokens. That was crazy. Oh. Wow. See, this is another good thing about best of fives. Like, if we went the first two, we never would have seen anything your deck could have done. Yeah, it would have just been wiped out. Yeah, and we just saw two different ways your deck could win. So... Oh, man, I'm, I'm not feeling too good about this, uh, but I will be going first, so I, I do feel good about that. I also, because of Stall being talked about, did not play Tornado Wall either. Uh, yeah. That's a huge fan favorite, but I, yeah. I wanted to go with a version of this deck that could show it could play, like, aggressive and not just Stall. Right. And it's taking it to beatdown right now, of all things. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what we can do on turn one the slower serpent has been so in the wing <laughs> hey it's still it's still been value for you so far it's been value but it is i'm i'm having to pitch more valuable cards because of it right interesting okay yeah all right i'm just gonna do that set pass. i just realized something that i didn't know uh but uh, i can't bring it up right now <laughs> all right i am going to Hope that that's not UFO Turtle. Ah! Stop doing this! <laughs> I'm hoping you're giving me a Dekoichi and you are! <laughs> Woo! Stop! How do you always uh, have it? <laughs> I'm playing three of those. I told you for no stall or stun, I get oh, three creatures. Okay, that slots. makes more sense. <laughs> I thought you had two. Okay, yeah. all right, that, that makes sense then. Oh my god! Is it limited to two in the format? Uh, I, I don't. I don't even up. know, honestly. I think it's at three, actually. It could be at two. Let me let me see if I am cheating. Mm, I feel like it's at three because I think the I zombie decks play that. three, don't they? Or maybe they play two. Let's see. Card pool and ban. List. All right, now we get to find out if I win the the match or not. Uh, it is at two. I am cheating. Ah, oh, you're cheating. I win. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, but now that you're cheating, now I'm going to do this terrible play again. All right. <laughs> That's fair. Ah! And by the way, I realized you can nobleman your own monster. <laughs> it was like lighting up yellow, like when it was just my car in the field. I was like, what the One heck? on the field, yeah. I was like, that would be kind of terrible, actually. All right, so you have two mech chasers, so the third's going to be in your hand. Possibly. And all three limiters are in deck. We have Torrential, Mirror Force, all the power cards. All right. All right. Interesting. It's time for a little floater reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a little 2,800 damage real quick. All right, mm. yeah, okay, okay. Let's set some cards. So you do have defense. Yeah, we'll set a couple cards, you know. Got to protect my mother grizzly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some things worth protecting it from. Oh, gosh. We'll go to battle, and you have white. No, I, I, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not dealing with this right now. No, no, no. Mother Grizzly right. stays on my side of the field right now. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I have to let that go for now. Unfortunate. Mounting pressure. Okay. Okay. All right. Mermaid Knight should have a mech chaser. Um, let's do. Oh, and that's interesting, actually. But I think that what I'm gonna do is do this. Let's let's let's, let's summon the guy you th that you've suspected I have. Yeah. And let's do a little bit of damage. A little. That's a lot. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, a lot. Okay, we're gonna set a couple cards. All right, Mother Grizzly, you've obeyed me well. Stay on my side of the field. <laughs> Let's see. You got a lot of cards I'm over there. I'm not feeling great about this. Try to prevent that. Oh. I'm trying to think what I can the do. This soldier. Do you have the sinister serpent is the question. I do not. Okay, that's good for me, I guess. I'm going to take your new card back to your hand as a... Am I? You've already got uh, two cards in there for Lakunga. <laughs> Yeah. All right, new cards back. That's yep, makes sense. But snatch steel, there it is. Oh no! 
That so is not far, good. I'm thinking I might be able to go for game, but my math is a little off. You have... I think I, it's not quite game. A lot of cards you're about to have with this Mother Grizzly. Uh-oh. That's true. Oh, this soldier. Oh, boy. So do I fear your final back row? Is it an MST? What could it be? Now, it, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attack Mother Grizzly. Okay, now we dust tornado. Ah, I, I will you had take it. you back, Mech Chaser. Uh, and I would also like to set a spell trap to my side of the field. <laughs> oh, get it back out there. All right. Well, we will attack Mother Grizzly. Okay. We will get Mother Grizzly's effect. Let me think. I'm going to do a bit of an okie doke here and power up my guys. Oh, smart move. Yeah, that, that one was a difficult decision. Smart move. But unfortunately, that does still leave me open-ish and pass to you. All right, what can we draw here? There's a lot of things. It's goat format, baby. That's true. You're not wrong about that. I All don't right. feel I, like I should uh, be going minus as much as I have been on your back row, but, like, I wanted to do a huge push there. Yeah, they, it, it could have paid off if I didn't have Dust Tornado there. Um, oh, oh, I'm not loving this. Okay, let's try to take out this penguin. Yeah. I think I need to keep that pressure up. That's probably smart. Okay. Oh. You're keeping the pressure up, that's for sure. It's not only pressure, but then I get defense back out I guess of it. I need to do... Oof. Got those Abyss Soldiers. You draw a Water Monster, you gotta bounce. Got a lot of damage on the field. Guess I'm we going... We each have three cards after all this, I too, know, for the most oh my part. gosh. This is a tough choice, actually. Because if you draw water, you're in good shape. I'm just going to at least make it where... Uh, okay. All right. Let's see what you draw. Wow. Let's see what you draw. All right. It is not something I currently want to summon. I don't think you're Tamir Force yet. But that would be mighty greedy. But I just don't think you're to it yet. Hmm. It's still a good enough chunk putting this to defense. Okay. I didn't want to be fully greedy. Yeah, that's reasonable. I'm going to take this one out. Ah! We'll take one of the two down. And the one that doesn't have the premature, of course. Yeah, that's that's the choice. Let's see what we can draw right now. That is a good card. Unfortunately... Ooh. He's not that big, but yes. fortunately, uh, don't I have to pack it? Or oh! he has the limiter remove. <laughs> oh, my I'm final gonna... card I drew was the Levia Dragon Deadliest. I thought that was it. I was like, is he gonna uh. blow it up? <laughs> well, I literally, GG. I, I had that for my UFO and you mirror forced. Like, with the, you made the right choice. I thought that about was waiting really to good... see if you'd attack it, but you have all the bounces, so it's like you could just bounce it back, and it's like I probably just have to go for it, and you mirror force it. So then I'm like, oh crap, because then I'd Fusler Dragon, but if I set that, you bounce it back. So I just had to wait and just hope that you didn't. Because, uh, like, if you had drawn a normal summonable monster, I could Saku. But if you pitched it to bounce the card, I'd still survive. So it was kind of like a. I had the option, but if you had attacked all in, you still would have done a bunch. So I had to draw the right card. And then that was big enough because he was 17. Fusler wasn't big enough to do that enough damage. Yeah, that was down to the wire. That was crazy. That was a that was a good game five and like really showed like how fast both these like mine can win really fast because of limiter removal and yours can just overwhelm with all those tokens or just blowing everything up. So pretty cool two decks we actually rolled today. Besides my cheat with creature swap. Yeah, but again, it's fine. Whatever. It's an extra card. It happens. The, the whole point was the audience isn't watching Gravity yeah, Bind. Yeah, to be fair, it's more limit. fun to watch three creature swap than Gravity Bind and all that different stuff. So, you know, we traded those. It worked out fine. Every single one of my cards with Legendary Ocean would get under those cards. And it's like, 
I didn't want to play that way. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, your deck would have been crazy if you had played that. It would have been really good. Yeah. GG's. Thank you so much for coming on to this episode. Super fun. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before we go? Uh, use code What's Good 5 for 5% 5 off. Use code What's Good 5. Shout out to House of Champs. Go check out his YouTube channel if you guys haven't. He also streams on Twitch as well. So thank you for coming out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you guys next time. Peace. Shout out to Tom Po Show and Nestor Diana, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.